Hi guys, it's Sharon. I haven't done a plan with me for quite a while and there's a very good reason for that. I've been in a real planner fidget. There are so many beautiful Instagrams and Facebook pages and descriptions of people's planners that are perfect, that work for them and that really organise their lives. And for once I found myself really distracted by all those pretty pictures. There's been a lot of changes in my life and the way that I need to record what's going on. My older son has now left school and he's working from home, so there's three of us in the house now. My daughter is doing GCSEs, so she has um, a huge amount of, of different activities to be recorded. And I really put down the fact that I was in this planner fidget to the fact that things were changing and I hadn't quite adapted to what was going on. And then I realised, and it hit me, I was becoming a sheep, a planner sheep. The Instagrams I see are beautiful. I just love looking at those pictures. They give me inspiration. They, they show me all sorts of things I hadn't thought of doing. But actually what they were doing at the end of the day was distracting me greatly from what I needed to do. So horror of horrors, I put every planner I had away. Yes, away where I couldn't see them, where they weren't shouting at me to go, please use me, you're not using something else. And I got out just one planner. I went back to basics. I went back to the Erin Condren I was using at the time, which was an hourly. I wrote a list of everything that I needed to put into my planner. And I've started right at the beginning again. And you know what I found? It worked. It really told me what I needed to be doing and what was working for me. So I'll pop a picture in of the planner pile of the I loved them but, because yes, I went through all sorts of different planners. I went through rings, I went through bullet journal planners, most of which I had lying around, but I will admit there were a few that crept into baskets and ended up in the post. And here's where we got to. So I'm gonna go through what I've got at the moment and I really find that this is working for me. So back to where we, where we are now. This is my workhorse planner. It's, I ordered the new Erin Condren uh, vertical. It's where I started with planning and much as I love the hourly, it is definitely the thing that works for me. I'm a list maker. I work from the top of my day to the bottom of my day. All my task goes in between my appointments and this just works. I'm lucky enough to have my Erin Condren in this beautiful woodland, calf, uh, woodland cottage craft uh, cover that was gifted to me by the lovely Sophie and I just love it. It was always on my unicorn list, uh, never got around to doing it. And as I say, I was lucky enough that Sophie gifted me this one. So I'll let you know what we've got in here. I will admit I have my workhorse planner. This is what everything goes in. And then I have two or three that come out for odd specific tasks. They don't come out all the time. Um, and I'll go through those when I've seen these. So this is the new Erin Condren. This is the Woven Wonder cover. I just went with um, something fairly plain on the front. I haven't made this look pretty or anything for the video. This is just how I took it off my desk this morning so that you can see what actually happens with mine. So um, I have some uh, Project Life cards in the pocket, which I find I write little lists on. I find I'm much better with a little list that looks pretty um, and just gets put out when I finish doing it. Um, these long sticky notes from Erin Condren I find are brilliant. I put them down the margin of the... Uh, the planner and I can have running lists during the week and also if I don't complete them they can get transferred from one to the other. You'll also see when we get further in I've got one stuck on my ruler which has odd bits and pieces that have got to go through, uh, got to be done during the week. I have my trusty uh, credit card little size card. This is one of the illustrated faith ones. I believe it's supposed to be for bullet, um, bullet planning, Bible journaling and for spreading ink and things like that but uh, I just find that it is fantastic for cutting ends of washi tape when I use it so that sits in here and I use it all the time. Um, other than that I haven't got a lot in there at the moment. I've put an extra cover onto the top of the Erin Condren. Somebody gave me a tip that your planner, you don't lose sight of the lovely, con uh, lovely planner cover that you have just designed and also it tends to sit better and move better in the cover if you put an extra cover on the front so I've just done that. Um, put a couple of little decals again on the front page. Um, I haven't used this yet. I may use it for a little dashboard and put some sticky notes on it. Um, I'm not great with using the permanent write-on pens. I just find that they come off and everything. Normally me, I end up with it all over my hands. So it tends to be an area just to stick things. Um, before on occasions I've put the pockets that Erin Condren has the little corner ones on as well. So I still may do that because they're very, very useful. Um, it has this lovely vellum color on here. 
I've made myself a nameplate to go on the front, um, just so that I know it's mine. Works well. And then we go into the planner. So I have, I've actually, I must admit, I bought the 18 month planner because I like the larger coil. And I have recoiled this, so it will look a bit odd compared to one you, you get straight out of the box. Um, because I've moved some things around. So this is one of the pockets from the back of last year's Painted Petals. Um, Painted Petals, Erin Condren, and I've coil clipped that, so that can go in and out, I can put it wherever I want. Um, and here I keep the end of the current kit I'm using, this is just one that I made myself. The little lists that I've made that need things doing with are stuck in there. Um, this I did yesterday, this is from a scrapbook um, a set that I had that was, I can't even remember, I'll see if I can link below who made it, but they're basically, it's a weekly scrapbook that you can make, it's a really strong card, so I decided to actually go through and put down all my weekly tasks, regular occurring weekly and monthly tasks onto here, so it means I've got a point of reference when I go to plan each week as to what I need to do and what doesn't need to be forgotten. So I've printed that up with some of uh, Ellie Beth Design's nice little stickers I've got a key on it so it tells me whether it's weekly or whether it's a, an odd random occurring tasks and that means I can't forget anything it's got my laundry schedule at the top as well again it's on a coil clip one of the long ones that uh, you get in the air in Condren box and it just means I can take it out and put it with the planner facing pages I've got the end of one of Rachel's uh, Elibeth Designs note kits on the side so I can put anything that I feel is important that needs to stay in there uh, next thing I've got rogue sticker let's put that somewhere so it doesn't get lost can't have the sticker down and I've put the set of the new sticky notes on here I use them for forward planning so I have my current week decorated and then anything any tasks are put into the monthly and then they're on their um, their proper week on a sticky note as well little tip that I found I must put the date on so that if it gets detached and it ends up stuck on something else the table or whatever I know which dates come from I've used the I've actually used every page of the planner this year um, but one of the other things that I found that sometimes I do is I would use the weeklies and that the monthlies and these these ancillary pages just didn't get used very much so I have actually committed to this planner and everything is in it so this is a schedule of holidays, end of term, starts of terms, uh, sometimes we have long live leave weekends, family birthdays, odd bits of holiday, um, so it's all in here. I struggle with this page. It looks pretty, it looks great, I can never decide what to do with it, so at the moment I have some thoughts going round, I could use it for birthdays, I could use it for goals, somebody suggested journaling for each month, really interested if you've got something unusual that you that use this for that is really worthwhile please drop me a link below because it's a, it becomes a wasted space otherwise and it's just a shame not to use it so this one I need to sort out but we'll see what we get and then what I did was I put in June from my old planner and I've actually put notes pages more notes pages in before each month one thing that frustrated me with my last one was that I only had one page and especially with the circles and the structure of it, it didn't work. I didn't have enough space. So I've got note pages in here. I use this for my running to-do list. Um, I use a fairly sort of bullet journal system for it so that I know where the things have got moved, got done, got taken out, um, and it seems to work quite well. And as I say, at the moment, there's some extra ones in here because I took May out. Um, I have a list of things that need to go in every week. So that's again on a coil clip, and I take that out when I'm going to plan for the week. Uh, this is my page of stickers that I need to make. I do make stickers for myself. It doesn't stop me buying all the beautiful things, especially from Elibeth Designs, but it means I have some other um, personalised things that are specific to me that can be done in here. There's a note of the uh, blog posts. You may have come across to this video from my blog post, which Rachel has on the Elibeth Designs website. Uh, if you have, great. And uh, so I've got some other dates that I'll be doing some things. And then I've got my brain dump and lists of stuff that has to get, have to get done. Uh, title page, I've for the month, I've got my Elibeth's Instagram challenge, which I'm working my way through. Uh, great place to stick it. Again, it's not a page I used to use in the old planner, but it seems the perfect place to put something like that. And then the monthly. So these are some notes of things I need to add in to the monthly, so I'll put those out of the way. And everything is going in here. I find, again, it was something that I didn't use as much 
with the monthly last time. I used to put write everything into my weeklies as I went on, but I found it much better if I put everything into this page. And we colour code in the family, so purple is for my daughter, pink is for me, we've got blue for my husband and red for my son. So I can see immediately, especially when the children were younger, exactly who had the heaviest schedule and where we needed to be. Um, as you can see, there's a few things already cancelled and we haven't quite got into uh, into June very far. Those of you that know me quite well know that the cancelled sticker and the rescheduled sticker in my life is one of my favourites. And I use lots of them. And then into the weeklies. This is a kit. This is one of my kits. Um, I have regular tasks in here. I don't really worry about what pen I use. Normally it's a trusty uh, Bic, the one lying next to me at the moment. It's a blue one, but it's normally a black one or a, what else have we got? Uh, ink John gel, uh, black ones. Um, I really don't get prissy and fussy and worried about it. The kids, if they came and wrote in it, it's because it's something that I needed to know. It's a working planner. I have a memory planner, which I'll show you in a minute, which is nice and pretty and lovely, but this one can get written in. Um, it, it's what it's for. We pay a lot of money for these and it really needs to do what we need it to do. So I have uh, habit trackers. Sidebar, I'm still playing around with this. Sometimes it's quite filled up with stickers. Sometimes I just use it blank and write it as a list. Um, but there we go. So. Again, uh, weekly pages, this was last week, another kit for mine. As you can see, the rescheduled stickers are popping up again for last week. Um, and again, everything everything gets put in here. I'm playing around with some weather stickers at the moment, something I've not done, but they're quite fun. Um, and then this is next week. So here's my trusty little list of things that need to get done. If there's odd things that don't, then it can be moved to next week. Um, and as I say, another list of here, some research stuff I need to do, so that's on another list. And these are great because they're not permanent, you can move them around during the week. When I get into this side of the week, this one will go this way. Simple I know, but that's just the way it works. Um, and paperclip for the week that we've got. And a lovely little pom-pom, which was made by the lovely Eleanor from Early Best Designs. And I believe that the money gets given to charity for these. Um, but again, it's an easy way for me to find the page and I love having it there. Um, a blank week, so this is what we've got for the following week. Stickers, uh, post-it notes put on, some things that are not movable, the end of my daughter's exams, hooray! No more early mornings for a while. Um, are in here and then little notes and bits and pieces. And as we go through, again, when I get to before July, here's the extra note pages I've put. Recoiling, scary the first time you do it. Is it easy? It can be easy, it can be difficult. It's all about how easily you manage to twist the end of the coil out. Um, sometimes it works. I, I had three planners being recalled at the same time. Two of them came out easily. This one, which of course, because it's the one I'm going to use most, was difficult. Um, a little tip that I've been given when you use the long nose pliers on these, protect them with some washi tape or a piece of uh, something soft, a piece of finger plaster. Um, it will protect the coil a bit. Yes, the bits and pieces do come off them if you're going to play around with them. That's going to happen, but it does help and you can minimise it. So again, extra pages in front of the notes. And then I've kept my monthlies fairly simple. Uh, I, I change my dates around. I cannot work with a Sunday start because my weekend is at both ends of the week. Doesn't work for me. My head goes bananas. So I've moved everything around and I've kept it really simple this year at the moment. So we'll see what happens. Little birthdays are already put in and things are filling up. And again, that's how every month's gone. Extra note papers um, with all the colours. Already there's some bits and pieces that are not certain, but this on sticky notes. Um, and when I recoiled, I took out, I recoiled it from July start, adding in June from my old one, and it's gone through to um, July next year. I will admit I'm stick sticker rating in it already and um, it will get very chunky. Um, I've never had a problem with the coil popping, the papers popping off the front, but we'll just see how it goes. If I need to take another month out, I can because this is, it'll all get filed away in the same place. And then when we get to the end of the planner, again, I added some extra note paper in. Uh, I've got some notes of what I want to do with these. Um, there's some really good videos around of what people do with the notes paper, notes pages. Um, I've got some ideas for uh, meal ideas, maybe gift ideas, Christmas will be one thing that does here. 
uh, daily tasks, housework schedule, I might decide to put on there. I haven't really decided. So again, if you've got any really good ideas, uh, let me know. Work in progress here. I'm not sure whether to use this for contact details or shop details or YouTubers or really haven't decided yet. Um, I will be using it. I really love that they've put these contacts pages in because it's something that I think we all have odd bits and pieces that need not to be on our phone, need to be in our planners. And I think it's a really good addition. Um, then we've got 2020 again. I've started putting in dates. I cannot believe that I have my daughter's last day of term school ever in here. She's only 16 at the moment. So this is two years time. Um, and that's a very scary thought, except that I won't have to get up ever again for an early school morning. So maybe that's not so scary. Um, here we go. Extra note pages. I took out the colouring pages. I really don't know why they're there in the first place. It's not something I do. The only thing I can think you can colour them as a background and stick something over the top. But I would rather have a few note pages. I love the dot grid pages. I don't mind this. This is great. If I want to colour on it, I can. They're useful. I've added in some different pages. This is from a um, productivity notebook, I think they call them, which again is really useful for putting notes and writing a list on the end. Um, and then right at the end, I've started another list. I'm trying desperately to sort my house out at the moment. I'm decluttering. Um, I'm looking at KonMari method. We have a huge amount of things, I suppose, as everybody does, as the children get older, things go in cupboards. They don't come out till you decide to sort them out so over the summer the house will change quite considerably so I thought why not have a pretty schedule with all the tasks that need to get done um, again I'll put that on a coil clip and it can just sit in the back but these pages are really really useful as I say I'll try and find out where I got them from uh, put the link down below I've put in an extra uh, these were dividers you can use a cover you can use a decider it's got a let's turn that out. it's got a note uh, normally it has my password cards in, but for obvious reasons I have moved those. I don't think you're very interested and you wouldn't get into anything exciting anyway. And then um, at the back, more pockets. So again, that will get filled up. And that's basically what I use day to day. It sits open on my desk. Um, I write notes in it. I write in it all the time. I don't worry what pen I have. And actually, I think I found some calm with that because it works for me. Um, in addition to that, I have some other things for regular tasks that I use during the week. So, I have an A5 Malden. Um, this is not going to look like an A5 Malden that you've seen before because I made it into a traveller's notebook. I took out the rings, my husband bought me this. Um, in fact, he bought me two, he bought me a little one as well. But I couldn't get on with the rings and it frustrated me. Um, so I took them out. It wasn't that hard. There are, again, some several videos and it's not the neatest on the back, but I've put the eyelets in for the strings. I've got some little tassels on it and it really works. Um, during the plan of fidget, I found these inserts, which are called Dutch door um, and they're actually really good. So if I was going to use a traveller's notebook anywhere, I would go for these. Um, again, I'll try and link down below where I got them from um, because they give you extra space with a with overview as well. Um, the beautiful acetates which I got from Ellie Beth Designs. I absolutely love this cover. I missed it the first time around and then was lucky enough when I went to Cam's Planicon um, to be able to get one so I just think it's really pretty. This is my reference folder so the thing I use every week in here is my meal planner. Um, it's got stickers in, there's a surprise but it really does work. I write out what we need, who's around, how many people we've got. Um, I use it, comes out every week when I book my shopping and it's great. Um, I have a note section. I've got all my passwords in here and uh, I have book reading lists, things like that. So this is just for reference, but it comes out every week for my meal planning and it works. And I love it because I use it, but I don't feel guilty that I don't use it all the time because my other planner works. Uh, by the same store, I have my memory planner. So this, again, I've changed the cover out because my cover's got personal photographs on it. Um, this is one that my husband bought me and I love it. So it normally sits on a notebook that I use. Um, so ordinary Erin Condren, uncoiled it. It's I've put it onto a smaller coil. It was an 18 month. I've recoiled it so it's 12 months. I don't worry about the ancillary pages in this one particularly. I will go through and fill maybe events out in this one. Um, but this is... Ooh, no. This is for memory planning. So in here I use my zip printer, 
for little photos. I use a kit every week in this one. In my normal workhorse planner, I don't always use a kit. Sometimes I use functional stickers. It depends how busy I am, what I'm doing, um, and whether I really don't want to. Uh, but this one I do always use a kit in. So it's my daughter's birthday. Um, as you can see, I don't fill in lots and lots of bits of tasks and things. There is a lot of white space in this, and I will go back and journal and stick photographs into it. Um, but it just literally goes through and tells me what I was doing each week. I uh, get to use some beautiful kits in here. It's one of my favourite balloons. Rachel, bring this one back. I love it. Um, so as we go through the old-fashioned notes pages, used a kit in that. I'm so glad we got rid of those circles. Never knew what to do with them. Um, yes, so as you see, there's always a kit in here, and I love this. Um, so that gets done every week, and that's purely creative for me. I don't have to worry about how many tasks I fit in. It's all stickers, and I really like that. And then I have two little planners. This one, as I say, look, doesn't look like a Maldon at all. Again, we have Traveller's Notebook in this, a pocket one. Um, love it. This goes in my handbag at Christmas. It carries all my notes for Christmas presents, all my planning. Um, I make costumes for some of the schools and all my details for those, measurements, materials I need, those sorts of things are in there. Gets thrown in my handbag. It doesn't get covered up. It's starting to get um, a lovely sort of weathered vintage feel. I don't mind if it gets scratched. It's leather. It's supposed to be used. And again, I love it. And then the only other thing I have, which will go in my handbag as a diary, it's the only place I'm going to duplicate the day-to-day -day stuff that I might need to hang around. Um, and this is a lovely little cover from Papuro. It's got my initials on it. Again, it's really soft leather and I love it. It comes with a notebook, um, but I've added in a little mole skein. And when... I, this starts, I think this starts in June. I shall just add in the bits and pieces. It's really for just to carry around notes. It will go in my handbag all, of, all the time. And um, yes, I do have a cover for that one because it's very, very soft and it will get scratched and I don't want that one to get scratched. So I'm allowed to be girly occasionally, which is really good. So that's what I'm using at the moment. The only other things I bought, which you might be interested in when I did the Emily Condren launch was one of the folios. Um, I'm really pleased with this. Again, I was gifted one a long number of years ago, um, and this is the first one I bought myself. I will admit, we had some hiccups with Erin Condren. I had a couple of things that needed to be replaced. I had something that was printed skew with. Um, I had a coil that was damaged when it came, and Erin Condren don't always get things right, but, on, but they are incredibly helpful, and I had a replacement. It took a while with DHL. Um, but when it came, it was perfect. And I'm very grateful that they did manage to take the time and trouble to sort it out for me. So I love this. It's got a quote I picked on, which is a quote I use quite a lot. Name and Instagram. Um, and I picked a planny pack, which I haven't put onto my planner yet. But I, am, I really love this. It's really strong. It's really sturdy. For those times when I have to carry my planner or a notebook around, it will be ideal. Um, so again, I would, if you haven't had one and you're ordering it, um, I would recommend this. It, it's, it actually feels really, really nice. Um, it smells good too. One, I actually saw somebody the other day who said their planner smelt of um, bubble cam or candy. Um, and there is some of these fabrics, these finely tucked fabrics do have that. I'm waffling and digressing now, but I really do like this. So all in all, I'm very pleased. Um, I will try and pop any links down below to any of the bits and pieces I've got. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, and I will be uh, hopefully back next week with a plan with me. Um, the biggest thing I would say, and this has taught me with the plan of fidget to what I've now got, which is I'm comfortable with, it makes me happy and it works, is really take all the ideas you need from the inspiration that you get from Instagram and from the people you love watching. There are is a huge amount out there. But the reason that people post planners that work for them is because they really are being true to themselves. They're really picking a style that works for them. And I think that's the biggest thing. Don't be worried about whether your planner fits in with whatever everybody else's looks like or your pictures are absolutely perfect or things are messy, things are quite not how anybody else has. And I think especially when you're getting your first plan that you pay an awful lot of money for, there is that element of wanting it to be perfect, but it has to work for you. That's why we buy these things. And I would just say, find something you like, find something that works for you. 
and share it with everybody else because you will be giving inspiration to somebody else who is feeling the same way as you do and go for it. So thank you for watching. Any questions, just let me know and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you.